what is it for? Science is about asking questions and investigating our world in a particular way, but it doesn't give us all the answers. For example, science doesn't tell us whether an Andy Warhol painting of Marilyn Monroe is beautiful. We make this decision based on personal opinions, but science can tell us how our eyes transmit colour from this painting to our brain. And another question, should we experiment on animals? This is an ethical question, not a scientific one. Science cannot make judgments about moral issues such as right or wrong. Many people think of science as lots of knowledge, formulae and concepts, like gravity or what makes a galaxy. But in a rapidly changing world, how does this sort of knowing in science, this disconnected knowledge, inform our uncertain future? So what is science for? What keeps scientists awake at night? What drives them? Is it new ideas, new discoveries, inquiring questions they have, or connections they've seen? Is it simply to make predictions, test ideas, and analyse evidence to make sense of our world? When we look at the Australian curriculum, we see there are three science strands. Science understanding, inquiry skills, and science as a human endeavour. None of these by themselves are enough to develop scientifically literate citizens or students to think scientifically. The three strands all have to work together. So with this in mind, let's think about a student in a South Australian school. Let's call him Bob. How might Bob's teacher work with the learning area of science and interweave the three strands so Bob uses science in his life to make evidence-based decisions. How does Bob's teacher intentionally position him as a scientific inquirer and challenge and support him to notice events and phenomena around him? How does she help Bob learn to think scientifically? How might his teacher capitalise on Bob's questions like, why do we have to wear seatbelts? We are less interested in whether he can repeat like a parrot the science facts that have been taught, but we are more interested in how Bob is using science, engaged in investigating his questions and learning science through inquiry. We want Bob to use the concept of forces to understand the safety implications of seatbelts, and from this, make evidence-based decisions in his own life. We want our students to be able to question, think, process and work like a scientist and be able to transfer this learning to new and unfamiliar contexts. Through science as a human endeavour strand, we see that science is much more than just knowing stuff. Mm -hmm.